Warner's Corner. Warner's Corner. I'm a bit worried. You should be, because I'm worried, because I have zero clue about how to be a journalist or a presenter or an interviewer. So uh, my you guess know. is good as yours, champion. <laughs> How's things, mate? All good? Yeah, all good, pal. Yeah, all good. Um, nice to be home. Nice to spend some time with the family. I'm sure you're the same, seeing, uh, seeing the girls growing up very quickly. Yeah, now. definitely, mate. It looks like we've been both been to the same barber as well. Looks quite nice. Yeah. We've got... <laughs> It is brilliant. Well, mate, thanks thanks for joining. Um, I think a lot of our, obviously, Sunrise's Hydra, Hyderabad fans would be watching us currently, but uh, given today's um, environment, um, we're doing our bit uh, to stay safe. And um, obviously, we're, we're all locked down. I know your country is, my country is, and obviously in India and pretty much the rest of the world. Um, so it's obviously unprecedented times but uh, I think we can just do our bit by giving back some uh, some information and some some share our thoughts on obviously the game and what we've been up to and um, just an insight to what it's like to to be us as well in isolation yeah definitely man I mean we can see the effect that it's had not only in England not only in Australia India but the rest of the world and um, I think it's the correct decision at this moment in time for everyone to try and contain the virus isn't it uh, we're not just talking about um, a few people that are, are potentially very poorly. We're talking about thousands and trying to keep that down to a minimum um, is the most important thing. Trying to save people's lives is the most important thing. And like you say, uh, we're at home training, but hopefully that call when it does come that we can get back out to India, we can play in the IPL when that does come around uh, and we can be back out supporting um, uh, uh, and playing in front of the fans uh, that were so amazing last year. Yeah, definitely. Well said, mate. Well said. And obviously, um, the county season obviously has been uh, put on hold as well. And, and potentially, we don't know the news yet, but obviously the World Cup as well, which everyone's anticipating. But on a lighter note, let's get on to some stuff that we actually do know a little bit about. Um, <laughs> first of all, mate, a couple of questions. I'll just uh, you know, ask you, obviously, um, you know, a lot of questions have been sent through, but you know, things at home, um, how have they been and how are you sort of staying fit um, in, in, in this environment? And uh, I think the other day we saw you mowing your, I don't know, you have like 60 acres or something out the back there. <laughs> yeah, mowing the lawn, um, doing a bit of gardening, trying to, trying to uh, stay busy with that. Training-wise, I've been doing a lot of hit stuff. Um, we're allowed to get out of the house for, for an hour so. Um, I'm in the slightly in the countryside, so being able to uh, run through the fields, following the the foot, public footpaths, and, and staying fit that way. To be really honest with you, um, the wind's been pretty chilly though, so it's it's a bit different to uh, to sweat it, sweating um, in the heat in Hyderabad. Yeah, I can I can imagine, and and you know that's obviously moving on to my ne next question. Obviously, normal circumstances will be over there playing at the moment, but what's one thing that you miss about Sunrisers Hyderabad as a team, and obviously, obviously the IPL, mate. The Hyderabad, the Hyderabad biryani, mate. Missing it. <laughs> Too spicy for me. <laughs> the uh, to be honest with you, I'm missing um, the buzz when you walk out onto the field. Uh, when when you walk out onto the field and the fans are there going berserk, uh, I'm really missing that. Um, I'm missing the IPL for similarly the same reasons, but also being able to test yourself against the best players in the world, um, the fantastic uh, Indian players and the local players that they have over there, as well as um, some of the best overseas that come and play in the comp. Yeah, I think you, you, you hit the nail on the head there. I think the, the best thing about obviously being over there is the fans um, and just the, you know, the, the, the happiness it brings to people um, and the smiles on their faces when we're over there. And there are things that you miss is the crowd jumping up and down, supporting us. And, and we just like representing obviously, obviously sunrises. And um, you said it very, very well there, mate. But um, look, there's, mate, there's a million questions here to get through. Um, there's a question here. Who is a cricketer that inspired you to, to take up the sport or who is someone you, you looked up to, to, or want it, want it to be? Uh, was it an England cricket player? Um, was it, you know, a school friend? What made you take up the sport and 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 to be who you are today? Um, so my dad played. Uh, dad played cricket for for Yorkshire and for England. Uh, so he was he was a, an inspiration. But then when I was about um, 
I'll have been about 14, I think, somewhere around that, when Partif Patel came over to England um, on the India tour when he was 16 years old. Um, we went to a, a barbecue. Uh, well, it wasn't a barbecue. Uh, Jeffrey Boycott put on a dinner at his house and all of the Indian team uh, came and Sachin was there. So Sachin was there, Surav was there. There was a lot of people that, uh, the greats of the game uh, were there. And uh, to get to meet Sachin, um, at such an age, I'd say that he was a, a big inspiration for that. And how, how did like sort of wicket keeping coming into the, the picture? Did you do that as a kid growing up? Um, you know, and, and what have you learned more now that you would, you'd do when you were younger? That, that would be different. Um, well, it kind of came by chance, to be honest. Someone got injured when we were about 13 and I just kind of took it up there. Um, and then it kind of developed through the second team at, at Yorkshire. Um, I hadn't done too much of it before playing um, in the first team as a keeper uh, at Yorkshire. And then it was kind of like learning learning to go about it, which was a real good thing because I think the freshness of the will, the freshness and willingness to learn um, was was there and the hunger and desire to get better was definitely there. Um, it, there was no like necessarily real bad habits that were ingrained when I was younger. Um, so it was, uh, yeah, that, that was when it, I kind of more took it up. Perfect. I just saw a comment there. Um, do you two like sledging on the field? That's quite funny. It's not sledging, it's just banter. <laughs> um, look, uh, is there anything or any habit that you did to upset your parents when you were younger? Cool. Uh, probably came in with a load of muddy kit. Um, <laughs> that was probably the biggest thing, wanting to go out and play in the garden and coming back in all muddy from head to toe and them having to uh, throw me in the shower. <laughs> and nothing, yeah. nothing worse than clean whites being all muddy than having to wash them. Not ourselves though. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, how, how parents get stains out of whites and get them back clean, I do not know when you're young. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Um, there's a lot of questions here around, do you remember your international debut dates? I wouldn't even have a clue. I think I, I think mine was 2010, 11. Yeah, mine was. I've got you. I've got your answers. <laughs> so mine was uh, in uh, September 2011. It was the. It was. It would be something around the 20, uh, 19th or something like that. Yeah, your ODI debut was at Sophia Gardens on the yeah. 16th. Yeah, September. <clears throat> And my and Lord, you must have played. Lords was 2012. Lords 2012 yep. uh, against the West Indies was um, my test debut. And from there, how tough from 2011 has the journey been so far? In I'll say I'll say all cricket, not just test cricket. I think all cricket's one to one to talk about. Yeah, I think that cricket in general test you. I mean, you know as well as anyone, it tests you through um, family, it tests you through mental resilience, it tests you through your technique, it tests you through everything, um, which is exactly why we play the game, um, because you learn so much about yourself. So being dropped, um, being in form, being out of form, um, putting yourself in and out of comfort zones, whether that be on the pitch, whether that be training like we are doing at the moment, um, in in isolation um, and learning about learning about yourself is is the big thing. So yeah, it's been full of ups and downs. But if it wasn't full of ups and downs, it was an easy journey. Then you'd probably get bored of it, wouldn't you? A hundred percent. And there's a a question here as well where they say, what's why is it so hard to play cricket in India against spin for us? Because, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very tough question to answer. Yeah. <laughs> It's similarly, um, you revert it back to say when um, India come to England on a green seamer. There's a, it's it, it's something that um, when players are used to playing on certain surfaces, then they'll find it easier playing on those surfaces because that's what they've been brought up on. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's great fun to it's great fun to test yourself over in India, and um, the pitches, especially hidden in the IPL, are fantastic. Oh, 100 percent. I think the the wickets that they produce for obviously IPL games are a little bit flatter than what they are. Uh, I won't say what they produce for Test cricket, but Test cricket obviously goes for five days, and 
once it starts getting a bit rough, if Ashwin's coming around the wicket, I'm a bit susceptible. I know that all the time. But so I just, uh, <laughs> you try your best, don't you? You try your best. I think, I think many people are susceptible if it's uh, day three, day four. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Um, another question. What's one thing no one knows about you that's very difficult? Very difficult. Uh, one thing no one knows about me. Um... I've just got a puppy. There you go. Perfect. What kind of what kind of dog? Rhodesian Ridgeback. Oh wow. Yeah. Puppy? Yeah, he's only eight weeks. Yeah, so uh, mum's dog, but yeah, he's uh, he's staying at the house at the moment. So I think he's asleep. Oh, that's the old chestnut I I did. I bought one for myself, left it at mum and dad's, and <laughs> never went back and picked it up. Ah, uh, so mum mum uh, mum's got him. It's mum's dog, but uh, but yeah, he's an absolute. He's going to be a, a big big lad. What about you, Davey? Tell me something and everyone that we don't know about you. Oh, wow. Um, well, everyone now knows I joined TikTok. I tried to get away with that. Oh, uh, wow. <laughs> what about, I think I'm, I'm, thinking I'm looking for a Bollywood career after, uh, after cricket, which ain't going to work. Um, what role are you going to play in that then? Uh, not a backup dancer, that's for sure. <laughs> um... Oh, wow. Something that uh, people wouldn't know. Um, Jesus, there's a lot of things everyone do know. Uh, I'd ask... Jesus. Wow. Uh, well, this is probably a given. My wife's a better runner than me. Long distance only. <laughs> <You're happy laughs> to that. I've got to give some credit somewhere, don't I? Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, they want to know where did you score your maiden test 100? And uh, how many did you get? Newlands, uh, Newlands in Cape Town, 2016, 3rd of January. Um, and I uh, was 150 not out. Yes, very, very well done. Great memory, actually. You got better memory than what I do. I have zero idea about. It. That stuff. Um, now, how many runs did you score last IPL? 525. Do I have that answer? I do. 445 at a strike rate of 150. My bad. It was you that scored 520. Yeah, 562, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, remember. Yeah, exactly. What's uh, what's your in the IPL your your favourite venue to play at and your favourite opponent to play against? And I think opponent playing against would be a broad term of I think international cricket, not just related to IPL. Um, my favourite venue in India has got to be. Don't be biased. <laughs> no. I really like playing at. Um... At Bangalore, I think that with the how um, the stadium's built, it's like on top of you, and I really quite like that. Um, and also the pitch is really good there. Um, <laughs> the belter. Yeah. Um, so really enjoy playing there. Um, who do I like playing um, with or against? I'm going to say Kane. Will it Kane? Kane's a like having played against Kane um, and with him at Yorkshire. I think that he. Um, is firstly a, a ridiculous bloke, secondly a fantastic player, and and thirdly the way he goes about his cricket and his thoughts on general life and things like that, I think uh, um, are something that we can all learn from. Well, while we're on the topic of Kane, what how was the feeling when you guys won the World Cup and and like for yourself and. You know, Kane's captaincy and how he handled the situation. Um, obviously, you've got to commend him on that. But how did you feel overall about winning the World Cup? And is there any stories that you, you want to share from that? Who did you first call afterwards uh, that wasn't there? I saw you obviously had a lot of friends and your, um, your, your mum and your sister there. Um, what was going through, through your mind? Obviously, it was, weird, it was weird watching it on TV from, from where we were. But uh, to be out there in your shoes, it must have been an amazing feeling. Yeah, it was it was a ridiculous feeling. Um, like it was three, four years of, of hard work 
soil that kind of all came down to such such small margins within within the space of the game. Um, and there was obviously elation and, and happiness and everything that comes with winning the World Cup. But then, obviously, the New Zealand lads are such good uh, good blokes and good fellas. Um, it was, yeah, when you were, like, chatting with them and stuff like that, you didn't want to kind of be over the top with them because of you, you know how tough losing is not that uh, and, and especially in a world cup final it must be absolutely devastating um but yeah as you say the way in which like kane spoke um in the in the press conference and uh sorry in the post-match interview and, and everything was yeah remarkable it was simply it was first class and it was absolutely like bizarre because obviously no one understood what was going on and and whatnot but now, you guys obviously thoroughly deserved it. And I know myself, we, we thought that you guys were going to be the hardest team to beat, especially on home soil, given your, your record the previous, you know, 18 or 24 months behind that. And obviously, congratulations to, to you guys again. But while we're on a winning matter for you guys, I want to – I had a question about, can we discuss a bit about that Ashes game at Leeds? And uh, I would like to ask, at you know, you've got Stokesy in – playing the way he did, he obviously got through the night before. I was a little bit nervous, I think, when you and Joey were, were, were batting. But, at, you know, nine down, you needed 75 runs to get. And obviously, Leachy, Leachy's walked out to bat. Were you guys thinking that you could, you could still win it? Oh, look, nine down needing 70 to win. Like, it's, <laughs> in your heart of hearts, probably not. Um, you think, you like, with the bowling attack that you guys have, um, and how well that the guys have been bowling. Look, it's it was always going to be tricky, and it needed something seriously special. But and that's what that's what it came down to. There was obviously a bit of luck, um, and uh, a couple of bits that went away. Um, but that's that's the game of cricket, isn't it? There's opportunities all the way through. I mean, when you play a miss, it comes down to literally a couple of millimeters that you can nick the ball. Um, DRS now the chances that you take, don't take. Some are clipping the stumps, some umpire, umpire's decisions that are umpire's call, etc. So there's so many things that can go one way or another. Um, and yeah, that, that day is something that will live long in, I think, cricketing history. And, and it'll go down as one of the best games uh, in Test cricket's history. Without doubt. And no, I absolutely concur there with that. It was just a, a surreal moment when you're out there in the field and when a bloke's on, he's on. Like he was hitting, the, you know, I was standing at first sleep on one one occasion when Nathan um, bowled the ball and he hit a six down the ground and, and I thought it was out. Celebrations. Right? Well, <laughs> what the real catch all about? Let's talk about... <laughs> you were facing that way, turned around to the pavilion and gave it the big one. <laughs> <laughs> well... The issue, the issue behind that, there's an underlying issue where uh, I dropped a few catches, I think, at Lords, and uh, I think I needed, I needed a bit of a, a talking to, and I needed to do some slips catching, and I think I was a little bit under pressure. I think I was going to get shifted away from first slip at that stage, and I think when I first, caught my first one, I was like so happy, and then I think I caught seven in the game, and I was just so happy that I actually caught them by. I think a lot of them were by fluke, to be honest, to be honest, they just stuck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, look, I think there's a there's been a, a few questions that are handed to me here about me and you playing with each other at the IPL, and this sounds a bit corny, but the best thing about batting, I'll, I'll say to, with us, what what do you think the best thing about batting is with with you and me together? I've just written I've written down um, I I love running between wickets. Um, and I think our energy between wickets um, is, is outstanding. I, I, I know how fast you are between wickets, and I think our ability and game awareness outside the six, um, running between wickets is obviously one of the one of my favourite things to, to do, and I think that's a strong point for, for us. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that there's, there's an understanding, like there's an understanding of, right, if, we, if, if someone says, right, two, then it's kind of like given we can both gauge that there is a two. So you're almost not really looking 
before you've turned, it's almost like touch go and then look because does that make sense? It, it just yeah yeah, and that 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 kind of started really early on. I think um, there was uh, a couple of games where we were getting twos where we didn't really have the right to get twos, but it was something that when you put pressure on people early early doors in. Um, that kind of pressure environment, you soon find out what you can and can't do. Um, and it also relieves pressure, whether that be from uh, one end, rotate the strike to get each other on strike, even if it's just single. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's where, when we played against RCB, we, we, we actually put them under, the, under a bit of pump in that and then it allows them you know, not to settle and the bowler has to think differently. And then you get those sort of the half volleys or the mis-executed deliveries, which you can put away. I also think that um, you potentially hitting the balls in different areas to, uh, to me is another one. Um, so some of the um, shots that you'll sit back on and play more off your back foot to go, say, w when it's a slow ball and you're whacking them back over cover or, or whatever, I think that that's, a, that's definitely um, uh, a a different way of playing rather than myself. I think that that comes in with statues as well. You look at Hayden and Langer when they had their uh, partnership at the, the top of the order, like the, the size difference and the scoring areas of which they uh, potentially played in. There's so many different variations that I think work and combinations. But like you say, the, the main thing is the running between the wickets, in my opinion. Yep, definitely. I, I agree with that, mate. And, um, Trevor Bayless, uh, obviously he's our, he's our new coach with obviously Brad Haddon uh, alongside him. What's your, what can you say his best attribute is and what will he bring to the Sunrisers? And obviously I've been under him as well, but uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts of recent times. He's got a reputation of winning wherever he goes. That's, yep. that, that's, that, the, that's, that's simple. The <laughs> that you can have wherever he goes, he wins. Like, yeah, I don't want any more from the bloke. His his record speaks for itself. Yep, I I don't disagree with that. Uh, and another question here was: discuss about our current Sunrisers Hyderabad squad. Well, we've got a very very good squad. I think one of our best. I think one of our best things are is we've got great depth in our bowling. We've got good up up front swing bowling, and I think our death bowling is 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 probably the best in the competition. Um, I think that's that's probably one aspect of where we're very, very good. Obviously, with our, with our batting, we're um, quite top-heavy as well. I think people like to talk about improvements, probably our middle order. I think that's where we need to sort of... Well, I won't say middle order. I mean middle of the, the game. We've got to take it on a little bit more. People are talking about how we don't take the game on enough. Well, everyone can critique us, <laughs> but uh, we're obviously trying our best when we're out there. Um, have we got any secrets in the dressing room that we can share? I was trying to think of some. I can't. I know that Khalil Ahmed's a pest. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, BJ's dance moves. Sandeep's got the best dan dance moves, mate. Four. I tell you one thing: if we had if we had mirrors all around our change room, I don't think many of our blokes would make the field. Well, yeah. <laughs> Who do you reckon's got the worst defence? Uh, what well, last year I was deliberately trying to <laughs> deliberately trying to wear the worst kit possible, possible, and it actually turned out to actually suit me. Oh, that's my opinion, though. Obviously, uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Have you got any? Uh, have you got any pranks that uh, you've done on family or friends or anything like that? Um, yeah, so it's more the other way around. My sister actually um, got me. She, I was asleep and she went and got two pans and ended up bashing them together and waking me up with two pans, which, uh, yeah, I stop it. <laughs> That'll give me your hey, mighty shock. VJ's just said Basil, something about Basil. What's he said about Basil there? Oh, yeah, I... Um... Poor old VJ. I know you're tuning in there, VJ. That's VJ Shanker, everyone. Um, he was... Uh, I don't know if he was doing a, a live live conference like we are at the moment, but uh, he was doing something the other day and I was laying in bed, so I just 
I kept on butting in and writing comments. But uh, Basil, I reckon he's got very good dance moves. Oh, and we unleashed we unleashed a dragon last year. <laughs> I tell you what, he bowls quick. He does. He does. All right, let's get on to these rapid fire questions, and then we can. Well, what is it? What's the time there? Twelve o'clock at midday. Yeah, midday. Yeah. Geez, I'll be going to bed soon. Um, all right, I'll with a glass of red before. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. Um, all right. One quality about Kane you like most? Obviously, you elaborated before a little bit. Um, his professionalism. Do you know the Hyderabad song that we sing after the game? <laughs> yeah. But, yeah <laughs> you, can sing, not... you can sing one line. Oh, oh we're from Hyderabad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. A... Okay. See, I don't. Uh, what's Boovy's jersey number? My jersey number and Kane's jersey number. Oh my gosh. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Yep. Um. Boovy. Kane eight. Is he eight? Okay. Oh, I wonder if some of the fans can help us out here. What's Kane and Boovey's uh, numbers? Ooh. Don't think any anyone's taking any notice there. Thumbs up. Yep, that's good. Oh, I don't know. What is Boovey's? I'm not sure. I actually don't have the answer to that one. I just, I just assumed that you would know. <laughs> Someone said 18. J. Charles. 18. Is that Kane 18? Uh, or Kane must be 18. Khalil, Johnny, I like Hold your on. hair. Wait. Go up, Khalil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Get us some glasses on, Khalil. <laughs> what, uh, have a we'll, 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 what, what makes Rashid the most lethal T20 bowler in the world? I'll say, I'll say spin bowler. Um, he hits the stumps. Uh, turns it both ways and brings a lot of forms of dismissal, not to mention bowling it very fast. Any funny nicknames in the team? Um, Kane's Kos 22, by the way. Koswami, the doctor. Koswami, the doctor, yes. Yes. Uh, Booby's 15 and Kane's 22. There we go. Thank you very much. I am Ragav2903. Uh Wow, your first ever stumping. Do you remember that? And who was it? I'll say in international cricket. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't remember. That's it. a good one. I don't actually, <laughs> genuinely, I, I can't remember my first stumping. Um, there's been a, there was there's been a couple that I was very pleased with, but not I can't remember my first one that uh, my first ever stumping. No, can you remember your first oh, yeah. catch? My first catch. Uh, it had to be against New Zealand. I reckon it might have been Ross Taylor. Right. I think. Um, gee, this is going to be a tough one. Create your five aside Sunrisers Hyderabad team. Football. They're better. Don't think football. I reckon. I reckon. Well, we can we can talk football and we can talk cricket. Batter. Football, your number, your number one pick. <laughs> uh, uh, batter, keeper, spinner, seamer, all rounder. So you pick yourself. <laughs> so I'll go me, you. I'll go rash. I'd go um, Boovy and VJ. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that that doesn't mean there's a quota in international players either. There was All two, right, name. Who did, who did, oh, we had three out of five. That doesn't yeah. matter. That's a good team. All right, you're going to have to name three left hand players in our team. Five, four, three, two, no, oh, oh. <laughs> one. <laughs> it's, it's Abhishek, me. Uh, who else is left handed? Khalil Ahmed, David, when you're hitting next century, brother, as you know, we are in lockdown at the moment. <laughs> Khalil, when's, when's your next dancing video coming out? 
Oh, I can't wait. Oh, his little selfie. Wow. <laughs> All right, which – oh, this is – this is probably not a good one. Which we Sunrise Hydro Bad... It's Gozzy out for the left-hander, like Ollie's. Yes, Gozzy, yes. Which Sunrise Hydro Bad bowler do you like batting against? Uh, you. <laughs> oh, my God. Who's your favourite international batsman currently? Can't be from England. Uh, my favourite international batsman... Um, I'm going to go Quin uh, Quinton the cock. Just yep. because I, I I really enjoy the way he just goes about it. I think he just plays so natural and freely. Yep, yep. I don't disagree with that either. After seeing some of the shots he was playing recently when we played him, yeah. One one thing our team has that other IPLs don't. I can oh I don't want to be controversial on here. <laughs> Bangalore don't have a trophy. Fair enough. <laughs> I was, uh, I was way, way, way less controversial, but you go with that, Dave. <laughs> I'll go with that. I hope Virat's watching. Um, one advice that you'll give to a 14-year-old? Enjoy, uh, enjoy your cricket, relish your cricket, and give it your best shot. Perfect. You've said it very well there. All right, let's just do these quick uh, fan questions. This is from uh, It's Me, I Kill Prince. Have you tried Hyderabad Biryani? Yes. I have too spicy. Very nice. Johnny, you, Johnny loves it. Uh, this is from Deepak Ready 77 Why did you choose cricket? Um, because I get to get have a suntan as well, being ginger. <laughs> This is from Pavan uh, Viswanadham. One of them, sorry for the pronunciation. Is there any nicknames amongst you and me? Uh, I'm Bull. Johnny. <laughs> yeah. JB. Bluey. Why do I call you y Yorkie Johnny? Because I'm from Yorkshire and I'm Johnny. <laughs> That's a question here. Why do I call you Yorkie Johnny? <laughs> Uh, another question from Harish Babu. The toughest match you've played in the IPL in which year and which team and share your experience on the match? Obviously, Johnny only played last year. Go on, you go. Oh, I think I think one of the toughest matches, I can't say toughest matches, I, one I played, but I think every time we come up against um, Mumbai, they always match up very well against us, especially with, um, well, they had Lassenth and, and Boomerah. Obviously, two guys up front with the new ball are very, very difficult. And at the back end, they're very difficult to get after. So it's almost like you're playing a 16-over match because you've got to try and not get out to them. So minimise the damage with wickets and try and somehow try and rotate strike to, to pick up um, runs uh, on the back side of that. Yeah, no, I'd agree. Different actions make it very tricky. Yeah, they do. There's no real cues, is there? Uh Aisha, tell some secrets about Kane and Boovy. Well, that's why they're secrets. <laughs> I have any? I don't have any either. Um, Mahesh Reddy, what would you be talking the most about when you're both playing at either end or when you come together? Is there any funny things that you talk about? It's more, it's more, like, plans. It's more plans, I think, to the bowlers. So... Other pitches playing the plans to which certain bowlers uh, we might have a laugh if we've run like three twos in the over because we'll both be uh, panting and out of breath. So we'll probably have a bit of a laugh about that. And who who is the one of the funniest guys in our team, and why? Uh, I don't want to say Khalil because I know he's listening. Khalil, I, I don't I'm, think he's I don't think he's funny. It's just silly. I'm going. <laughs> Murley. Mur Murley. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Murley. He makes me laugh too. Extra protective over his bowling balls. He definitely, he definitely wouldn't be watching. He doesn't even have a, he doesn't even have internet, does he? Uh, all right. Question for myself. 
Favourite opening partner, this is obviously directed towards you two, Aaron Finch or Johnny Bairstow. For you is obviously Jason Roy or myself. I'll say two different dynamics. Yeah. Uh, there's never always one one correct answer where Finch is all, obviously all power um, and obviously in different stages. So we obviously, with myself and you, we obviously have a big emphasis on our first six as obviously me and Finchie would, but predominantly Finchie would probably go after it a little bit more than what I probably, I probably would. I'm a bit conservative these days. Uh, I don't know why. <laughs> Also, I think different formats. So, Jason and I, I don't open necessarily the T20s. So, um, I think that's a, that's obviously a, a difference with that too. So, look, I think that people have different qualities and bring out the best in people uh, given the given the circumstances that you're in. Uh, a couple more questions. Your your duo one of the your duo was one of the best innings that ever happened in the IPL. Uh, what was your first conversation that we had both when we first met at the start of the season in regards to how we're going to play the way that we played? Didn't really, we didn't really have, like I wouldn't say a single conversation. It was just, um, uh, let's go and have fun. Let's find out how, how you blend. That's the, that's the biggest way of going about it. Um, I think you naturally pick up cues with um, people that you're playing with. Uh, you naturally... Um, see how you work best with that um, other batsman at the other end. So, uh, that comes from experience and, and playing uh, together, playing out in the middle. Yeah, definitely. I agree with that. A lot of, lot of crew we've played and it, uh, it takes probably, what, one, one innings together to understand how you obviously get off strike and how you, how you play. Um, all right. Do I plan on writing a book on your cricketing adventures I would love to read your stories. I think that was directed towards me. Um, I, I probably wouldn't know how to write a book. I've written some children's books. That's probably why <laughs> they were children's books. Um, you can write. How was both of your... Exp- <laughs> no, well, actually, there's apps now that can actually turn you into a guru. <laughs> TikTok. Uh, if you're given the power each, which one trait of a cricketer would you steal from each other? That is from Parallel uh, Moon, which is Shashi Rao. One power. Wow. Uh, I'm not going to be a hype. <laughs> oh, what? I'll, I'll, actually, you know what? I'll take Boomer's Yorkers. I wish I could bowl some Yorkers. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm going. Um... Yeah, I'm going like Pat Cummins. I'm just going. I'd try and steal his bowling powers. Yeah, or all his or his engine, serious yeah. engine that fella. Yeah, exactly. Um, all right, last two questions. These are from the Facebook page. Um, I can't pronounce your name. I apologise, Jay Pala, which is the shortened version. Uh, for Johnny, who is the best Indian player according to you in the Sunrisers Hyderabad team? They're all watching. Shanks is watching. Khalil's watching. <laughs> Basil's probably watching. Uh, I am going to go for... Um, I was really impressed. Uh, well, uh, yeah, VJ. <laughs> He's a good, good man. And for me, it was what is what has been the toughest decision I've made as a captain. Uh, I think oh, I've spoken about this before: is winning a toss against Bangalore in that final and uh, deciding to bat first and uh, and bowl, uh, defend. Sorry, with the ball. So that was probably one of the hardest decisions I've made. Uh, was almost regretting it when they were one for 140 or 10. Um, but obviously, we we did very well, and uh, the guys there um, did a great job to to get us across the line. Uh, for Johnny, do you enjoy wiki keeping or batting, or both? Enjoy both because you're in the game all the time. You're able to have an effect on the game, um, good or bad. Uh, but I think being involved in the game and having um, the opportunity to affect the outcome is is why we play the game. Very good answer. And last but not least, this person has 
challenged you and myself to try and cook a Hyderabadi biryani at home. Now, how are we going to, how can you cook Hyderabadi biryani when I'm in Sydney and Johnny's in, what are you, near our Woodley? Yeah, out Le- in the bush. I'm in Leeds. Yeah. So how, that can't be hy- Hyderabadi biryani, can it? No. So I've started doing this uh, <laughs> cookery thing. So we're, um, we're actually next week, we're going to think of trying to do something for, um, yeah, for like the Indian fans and stuff. Um, so it needs to be done in 10 minutes though. So any, any ideas then do, do let us know and we'll try and uh, cook something up. There we go, guys. So log on to Johnny's uh, Instagram and uh, send through some tips. Has to be cooked in under 15 minutes or 10 minutes. So be realistic. That's probably not going to be realistic if we're cooking that. But Johnny, mate, thanks for, for joining in. Uh, yeah. We've got another three guests coming up the next three days. So uh, so if you look forward to tuning in, mate, uh, tune in. But thank you. Uh, all the fans really enjoy what you bring to our team. And uh, I love batting with you. Cheers, mate, and uh, thanks to everyone, and hopefully at some point we'll see everyone very, very soon. Enjoy, pal. See you, mate.